Hey there, YouTube. So, I'm out here, and it's it's getting dark, and I wanted to do this video quick because I didn't want to try and do it with, uh, with lights. I am going to have to set up lights. I have a, a couple customers' knives that I need to sharpen that uh, came all the way from New Jersey. My customer, Chris, sent them to me. <clears throat> I'm going to try to open them here. One of them is a small Chavez slip joint. I got to meet Mr. Ramon Chavez up at Ferrum Forge here a few weeks ago. Nice, really nice guy. Um, huge hands for a uh, guy his size. Um, so I uh, was telling him that the 228 is a kind of a grail knife for me. I really do want to get one. Um, but yeah, so this is the Chavez American made slip joint. I'm going to sharpen this one. But one of the other knives that uh, he sent me is this... Uh, HTM um, stiletto. And so I wanted to prompt me. One of the things that you might not know is that I do have, I have a couple automatics. This is my Ultratech. And the reason you're not going to often see me carry an automatic, I pulled this one out. This is actually going to be my daughter's. It stays in its box uh, in, a, in a uh, safe in the house here. Let's get chilly too. Helms Brewing Company, one of my favorite places, right across the street from uh, from Fire and Force Knife Works. Um, one of the reasons that you won't see me carry one is, one, most places they're illegal. Um, I, I see it as silly. Um, I don't see that this is any faster than a flipper. I don't see, I don't see it. I don't have a flipper. I put this in my pocket when I came out through video. I don't have any of my other knives. Let's see if I've got a knife in the drawer here. Sometimes I have some work knives laying around here that I use for stuff. Um, yeah, here we go. Now, is that, I don't see it. Yeah, I don't see that this is, is that any faster? It's not, it's not, if anything. One of the other reasons you won't see me, the, the, the illegalness of it. Um, I can't carry it to work because I work on federal property. Most people don't realize a lot of states, switchblades are not illegal. They're not. Uh, I think Missouri, not illegal. Ohio, you can carry one of these. It's not illegal. I can carry this anywhere I want in Ohio. It's not an illegal knife. As long as you make sure you're not on federal property. Most of your switchblade and automatic knife laws are federal laws and it is illegal for me to transport this across state lines so most of your knife laws that pertain to automatics are federal laws and therefore pertain to you carrying it on federal property federal courthouse military installations where i happen to work i can't carry this i'm a federal employee i can't carry it to work um california uh, the blade length on this one is a little over what I can carry in an automatic. Um, I think the, the UTX 70, which is 70% smaller, California legal. Uh, Protec has some automatics um, that are California legal with a smaller blade size. Um, those are state laws that are that are being being carried. Out my hat beer. You know the nice thing about PBR. You can let it get warm. It tastes every bit as bad cold as it does warm. It makes a good garage beer. So, um, I had never seen one of these, and uh, it prompted me to dig mine out. Um, there's, there's, there's some cool factor and fascination, some playfulness that comes with automatics. But the reason you won't see me carry one, and these stiletto types that come out the side are a little bit more reliable than these, and I'm not gonna do it on my customers, um, case here but uh, this might um see that it has a derailing system on these out the fronts it's designed whew, that still hits pretty hard and it would hurt you but it's designed because everybody's afraid oh you put this up against somebody and you push the button and it's gonna come flying out and it's gonna stab them one, 
Uh, if you think that, you're you're pretty you're pretty stupid, and you should probably I'm gonna say something. That I told Elliot, and he said he said you. I'm gonna steal that. Um, if you think that you're as dumb as you can be and still legally live alone, if you think something like that, if you think that that's what's gonna happen, as weak as these springs are in this. Uh, <laughs> you probably should be a ward of the state and not be allowed to have a stove. You should probably eat in a group dining facility. That's how dumb you are. Um, these are a little bit more reliable because the way they open, they snap open from the side, and the second the obstruction moves out of the way, they're going to open up on their own. With, with these, they, they come out, and then they would come partway out, and, and then you would, have to, um, you would have to play with it and force it open to get your second shot. With a manual opener... You don't have that issue. Um, it's my cold steel tough light. Love this little knife. Uh, it's always out here on my workbench. And it's wearing cliff like Elliot's last run of knives. Really, really useful knife and uh, crazy stupid sharp. Of course, because it's mine. Um, but you know, automatics. Automatics get a bad rep just because of um, what they were and the time frame they were gang they were considered gang weapons and, and things like that and it, it, it was a hundred percent and I, I don't I, I'm gonna say something here that I don't want people it was race driven it really was it was race driven it, it was a preferred weapon of a specific ethnic background you can look it up at a hundred percent was and they thought that limiting this switchblade stiletto that the Italian gang members used. You know, that the Mexican gangs were using. It was race-driven. A lot of these stupid, archaic laws that we have, they just need to come off the books. A lot of these gun laws, these stupid-ass gun laws that... Got news for you. Gun laws, the only people that are ever going to follow them are the law-abiding citizens. The criminals are still going to fucking have the guns. So, no, I just, before I up and sharpened these and got them back in the mail, it, it prompted me to, uh, you know, these, these are a more reliable automatic. And there are law enforcement officers that carry an automatic. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I would want something more reliable. Um, I like this little knife. Um, I had... I've had several automatics. I've, I've got one in there, a little stiletto that, um, um, but you know, you can carry these. Check your light, check your state and local knife laws. You may be able to put one of these in your pocket and walk around. And if you're gonna get one, this these ones, the Microtech Ultratex are awesome. They're not too crazy, off the wall expensive. Um, the, I've heard a lot of people talk about reliability issues with the Microtech Ultratex. I've never had a problem with this one. Um, my daughter gets older, this one's hers. The only reason I didn't sell it, because I never carry it, I sold the other two that I had, is because she, she likes it. Cool factor, and this one is just like all my other knives. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it is. Um, so, you know, if you want one, get one. You can't go wrong with a little Microtech Ultratech. They're, they're, the, they're the ones that have been around the longest. Um, I don't know if you saw the, uh, this is just a shameless plug. I'm going to do it anyway. I don't know if you saw the Ferrum Forge video for the, um, Maker's Choice knives. They did mention the fact that I sharpened their Maker's Choice knives and, um, put me as the, put my YouTube channel, um, tag me in it. Uh, at the bottom. I can't find my hat. I can't find my favorite hat. So, yeah, I'm hoping that will generate some business. Uh, you guys have been great. I am not that guy that's going to do the like and subscribe. I don't care if you guys like my videos, but I am going to ask you a favor, and I've asked this before. If you don't like my video and you're giving me the thumbs down, please tell me why. <laughs> I've gotten I've gotten not a lot of dislikes, but if you're going to dislike my video, at least tell me why. I can't fix it if I don't know it's broke. Um, stay tuned. Um, some of this is going away. Probably tonight. At least that much of it down here. It's getting a little bit quarrelsome. And I am 
Some of this is going away too. It's getting a little ridiculous. I thought I would see how I looked at long hair again. I hadn't done it since high school. I can't stand it. It's driving me nuts. It's gotta go. It's gotta go. Um, so I'm gonna get a haircut this weekend. But uh, yeah, I'm going to shave at the request of one of my viewers and I will tag you in the video when I do it. I am going to shave with my, with my stag handled Bowie knife because I'm an idiot and I'll do things that people ask me to do as long as it doesn't involve me being naked on camera. So <laughs> that's not happening. No one needs to be exposed to that. No one. So, all right guys, I, I am gonna never do it again where I say, hey, it's gonna be a short video because I know better. It's not going to be. You guys know that. I was gonna say, hey, it's gonna be a short video. 10 minutes, it's 11 minutes now. So, um, it's getting dark. I've got to get the light set up so I can sharpen uh, Chris's knives. Uh, he sent them out to me. He got them to me. Sent them on Monday. I got them on Tuesday. You guys, uh, unless you really want to, don't don't spend that kind of money getting stuff rushed out here to me. I mean, it's it's, it's uh, it's, you're spending a lot on shipping. That that's kind of it's kind of silly. So yeah, I'm gonna sharpen these two knives for him, and I got a pair of scissors and a knife for a guy at work that I'm gonna do. Uh, don't forget, I do scissors too. I will do scissors if you've got some scissors that you want done. I will do scissors. I do. Um, all right, guys, you have a good evening. I'll talk to you later.